Astronauts go up in a rocket, but down in a parachute. And believe it or not, just using a few odds and ends and writing paper with lines on it, you can make both rocket and parachute. Why are the lines? A very important guide to keep you accurate, because accuracy is the, the clue in this whole thing. First of all, take a piece of line writing paper, the sort you use in school, make sure it's got no kinks, and roll it up. And again, try not to kink it, but make sure that as you roll it, the lines stay on top of each other. If you go skew whiff and they start tracking to the side, then you're going to have an impossible blowpipe. As you roll, you'll find it gets easier and easier because it gets stiffer. And when you finish, the whole thing ought to be about the diameter of your finger. It doesn't really matter which one, around about that diameter will do. Now those lines aren't joined up, you can see. They're not really properly aligned. So I've got to tug the outer bit of paper until they are. Don't worry about the inner bit. Just line them up at one end. There we are. That looks good to me. And use a bit of sticky to hold them there. Like that. Turn the thing around and do exactly the same at the other end. Because if you've got both ends lined up perfectly, then all you have to do is to stick them down, stick it down in the middle, and then worry about the inside of the tube, which you can't get at, but the ends will give you a good clue. If there's a little bit of paper sticking out of the end, you have to tap everything up and down on the desk until it isn't doing that anymore. That means you've got a perfect cylinder. And that's what you need, otherwise the thing won't work properly. Put that to one side for a moment and make the rocket, which is another piece of paper made into a cone. And you take the long edge, make a bit of a kink there, and the corner that you've lifted up to make the kink, tuck it under and work to this kink, making the point always stay there, which means rolling the thing up so it really stays rather like an ice cream cone. Don't let a big hole develop at the corner or the point because that'll spoil the whole thing. And as that rolls up like that, Check it. That looks a nice, neat one. And once again, stick that down. Don't put sticky right over the end, because you have to put a match through there. OK, that's uh, stuck up like that. First of all, I'm going to make that fit my blowpipe, which I do by poking it in the end there, and poking it fairly tight, I might say, and getting a pair of scissors. And because the end of the tube's all trimmed, we can just cut through the cone. And that will now, I think, be a good fit. Doesn't matter if it's a bit tight. That's on the good side. You can test by blowing it into your hand. Oh, a good tight fit. Try from the other end. If it's the same, you've got a beauty. That's a bit loose, so always work from the tighter fit, and that will do well. But before you put it in there for good and attach things to it, you have to do one more thing, and that's put a matchstick into it. And the matchstick goes in blunt or non-head end first. Poke it in there, push it through with your finger. If it doesn't fit, cut a little bit off the point. Pull it through until the head jams, and then use sticky to make an absolutely airtight seal around there. Now, don't go blowing that around the room, because if it got somebody's eye, you could be in big trouble. Before we do that, we have to put a parachute on. But that, with the blowpipe, is the rocket. We'll put it to one side. Well, the parachute's easily made, but it's fiddly, so I've done it in various stages. You use plastic, which is both thin and strong, and garbage bag, I reckon, is the best for that. Cut yourself a square a bit bigger than your hand, about the same size as mine, and you go through these stages. First of all, the square has pieces of cotton stuck at each corner, like that. There are three of them there, but when you've got the four of them, it'll look like that. And you gather those into the middle. When you do it, you tie them there, but before you tie them, just make sure that all the corners are resting on the paper at the same time. Then the knot will be in the middle, and the parachute will hang properly. Cut three of them off, and the last one you tie to the nose cone of the rocket, like that. And you trim off all surplus bits of string or thread. There we are. And you've got the nose cone with the parachute hanging freely like that, ready to be blown out. And this is what you do. You have to load it properly. First of all, hold the parachute like that, put the matchstick into it, and then you'll notice that the thing will collapse on top of it. Don't fold it, just push it down, rather like a collapsing umbrella. The match keeps it well away from the bottom of the nose cone, and that's the article. Then you take the beast that you want to fire it in from, or fire it from, and uh, here we go, that's the one that fits. Poke it in there, crumple it up, the parachute goes first, then the nose cone, and because it's a good tight fit, you should be able to poke it up in there, 
and launch it into space. Curiosity.